Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography, and I'm wearing my reading glasses today, so that's why things look a little different. Hey, today's tutorial is not really a tutorial, it's an announcement of a revolutionary, game-changing lens for bird photography. The 150 to 400 millimeter f4.5 lens, it's, it's going to ship at the end of January. And it really is going to be a game-changing lens. And so I just want to go through some of the things that I think are really cool about this lens. Uh, this is a review. I don't have it. I've watched everybody's videos today. I've watched all the announcement videos. I've done a little bit of research on it. I've talked to people who use prototypes of this lens a while ago. Take it with a grain of salt, but uh, do know that I pre-ordered the lens last night. So last night around midnight, Olympus made the announcement, and at about 12.05, I started getting emails from people asking questions about it. Of course, I didn't have any answers then, and so I'm making this video to answer people's questions. So here's what the lens looks like. Uh, to me, it's a game-changing lens. It's 12 and a half inches long. It weighs four pounds. It's an internal zoom, so you don't have to worry about the dust getting sucked into the lens and all that kind of stuff. It's water-sealed as well. That water-sealing weather protection is from Olympus is like game changing. And it's one of the things that I really like about these lenses is you can take these out and do bird photography and of ducks and stuff in the rain and it's no big deal. So it's a nice looking lens. It'll be uh, easy to pack around and to travel with. And I've heard complaints about the prices already. And think about it this way. Yeah, this lens costs $7,500. Canon 800 millimeter F5.6 lens will cost you $13,000. Or if you're a Nikon shooter and you want the 800 millimeter lens, you can pay $16,000. I'd rather be an Olympus shooter and pay $7,500 for a smaller, lighter lens that I can use every day and carry around all day. It doesn't weigh 13 pounds. When I shot with Canon and I had the original F4 600 millimeter lens, it weighed 13 and a half pounds or something. My M1X and this lens won't weigh that much. It weighs half that. No, it's 10 pounds lighter. Anyway, uh, the coolest thing about this lens is it's got the 1.4 internal teleconverter and then you can put a 1.4 on top of that and it, so you get a tremendous amount of reach. When you're using this lens, you're gonna have 150 to 400 millimeters of range. That's what the lens says, right? But in full frame equivalent, that's 300 to 800. So now you've got the 800 millimeter equivalent of an F 4.5 lens that weighs four pounds. You can't get that anywhere else. If you use the internal 1.25 teleconverter, you're gonna have 188 millimeters to 500 millimeters, which is the equivalent in full frame cameras of 356 to 1,000. So that is a lot of reach. 376 millimeters to 1,000 millimeters of reach. That's incredible. And then if you throw the external 1.4 on there, then you're gonna have 263 to 700 millimeters of photo, telephoto reach, which is the equivalent of 525 to 1400 millimeters of telephoto reach. That's incredible. You used to have to stack a 600 and a 2.0X and a 1.4X on a Canon and get them to work together and probably have manual focus to get to that kind of telephoto power. Or you'd use a 2X and a 600 and a crop sensored camera, like the 7D Mark II or something. The main point here is you're gonna get tremendous telephoto reach, and this is why this is a game changer. You're not gonna to have to get as close to the birds, so you're not gonna spook the birds, they're not gonna flush the birds. You're going to get natural behavior shots. I've looked at people's images from this camera, and it looks really, really good. So I talked about lens weight a little bit, so it weighs 4.1 pounds, or 1,875 grams. And with the M1X, which is how I'm going to use it because the M1X December 2nd gets the bird detection autofocus feature as a firmware update. So I'm gonna be using the M1X and the 150 to 400 millimeter zoom lens. That's gonna weigh six and a third pounds, which is still 10 pounds lighter than my old Canon system. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I switched to Olympus was lighter gear. And I'm still saving 10 pounds. Yes, this is heavy. Yes, this is the biggest micro four thirds lens out there. But wow, the things that you're going to be able to do with this are mind blowing. 
The second announcement that came out today was bird detection autofocus. It's going to be here on December 2nd. You're going to be able to update the firmware in your um, M1X. And wow, I'm looking forward to this. I will have some reviews and a tutorial on how I use it shortly after that. I'm going to download the firmware update as soon as I can and then I'm going to go out and take pictures with it because I really, really want to test this. I'm hoping that for us it is in line with what Sony and Canon are doing with bird detect or eye detect autofocus. I know that uh, from watching videos today that the autofocus will detect the bird and then it detects the head and then it will search for the eye. That's going to be really cool to see how that works and I'm really, really excited about that. So guys, exciting times for Micro Four Thirds users and Olympus users. I really can't wait to get the bird detect autofocus and um, I'm in line. I pre-ordered my uh, 150 to 400 millimeter f4.5 lens. So. As soon as I get it, I'll be out there creating pictures and I'll do a review of the lens as soon as I can. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.